When we talk about probability or chance, there are basically two things we can mean. First, we might be making a claim about our own credence. If you say there's a 50% chance that the trillionth digit of pi is even, that just means you're unsure about the trillionth digit of pi. That doesn't mean the trillionth digit of pi could actually be different. Mathematics dictates whether it's even or odd. But to you personally, there's a 50-50 chance that it's even, assuming you haven't looked it up. This kind of probability is called epistemic probability. We can treat it as a synonym for credence. However, if you want to say that there's some randomness outside your head in the real world, that's metaphysical probability. Like, if we had a truly random coin with a 50-50 chance of landing on heads, then it's not just a lack of knowledge that makes us unable to predict the outcome. It's truly random and could go one way or the other. To further clarify this idea, let's look at some more examples. A coin is flipped in such a way that, given its precise spin and momentum, the air currents, and so on, it will land on heads, but you don't know that. The coin in this example isn't truly random, so in terms of metaphysical probability, there's a 100% chance that the coin will land on heads, but because of your ignorance, there's an epistemic probability of 50% that the coin will land on heads. A truly random dice is rolled. Will it land on 6? The metaphysical probability of this is 1 in 6. The epistemic probability of this, assuming you can't see the future, is also 1 in 6. If you understand the metaphysical probability, that's also your epistemic probability. I flip a truly random coin. If it lands on tails, nothing happens. If it's heads, a robot says the tenth digit of pi. Will the robot say 3? This one is tricky. The tenth digit of pi is, in fact, 3. So in terms of metaphysical probability, there's a 50% chance that the robot will say 3. Let's assume that you don't know that digit of pi, though. In that case, there's a 50% chance that the coin will land on heads, multiplied by the 1 in 10 chance that the tenth digit of pi is 3, which equals an epistemic probability of 5%. Sorry if that was hard to follow, I just wanted an example that shows the interaction of metaphysical probability and epistemic probability.